Welcome to Morning Manor with Pastor Steve Mary. Today's topic, price versus cost. And he said unto another, follow me. But he said, Lord, suffer me first to go and bury my father. Jesus said unto him, let the dead bury their dead, but go thou and preach the kingdom of God. And another also said, Lord, I will follow thee, but let me first go and bid them farewell, which are at my home, at my house. And Jesus said unto him, No man, having put his hand to the plow, and looking back, is fit for the kingdom of God. Luke 9, 59 through 62. Many of us are what are known as price paying shoppers. We buy because the price is right. We buy cheap things to save money, when in the long run, it costs us more than if we were to buy something of quality. Price versus cost. The price for a pack of cigarettes can cost you $100, but the cost can be lung cancer. The price for a restaurant beer can cost you $200, but the cost can be liver cancer or a car accident. The price for our loving with somebody from the hit strip can cost you $100, but the cost could be death by an STD. The price of some cocaine might be $200, but the cost could be death by suicide. Proverbs 23 reminds us to buy truth, sell it not, also wisdom and instruction and understanding. These men had excuses for not following Christ. Many will say they will follow the Lord, but when they go to some places and they become uncomfortable, then they will change their minds. Was Jesus being insensitive to these men? Was he being anti-family? No, a couple of things might have been the case. It could have been that the father was already dead, but they were waiting on the ritual for a year for the skin to rot from the bones so that they could put them in a tomb in a wall. But Jesus wanted a decision right now. The price of salvation is bought with our faith in God and our willingness to accept the plan of God laid out for us in repentance, baptism in Jesus' name and the infilling of the Holy Ghost with tongues as evidence. But the cost to make heaven our home is much greater. Many of us want to go further in God, but fear cripples us. The fear of inadequacy, the fear of being unworthy, the fear of having to separate yourself from the people and the things going on in your life right now. Let's take a look at Jonah. Four times in chapter 1, the Bible tells us that Jonah went down. Jonah went down to Joppa. Jonah went down to the ship. Jonah went down to the lowest part of the ship, down into the belly of the whale. The whale was used by God to close in on Jonah enough to get his attention. It was Jonah's circumstantial imprisonment. Jonah found a ship to go to Tarshish, so he paid the fear. <laughs> that was really an understatement. Jonah was now paying the price for his decision to run from the will of God and the calling of God. You will pay a price for running from the call of God on your life. God sent terrible circumstances into Jonah's life, not to punish Jonah, but really to show Jonah his mercy. You may realize in your mind today that you have been running from the call of God in your life. But I want to let you know that God has shown enough mercy to you to let you hear the story of Jonah so that you won't have to hit rock bottom. The thought of the day, you will pay a price for running from the call of God on your life. Bless the Lord, everyone. This morning, I just want to give God thanks as I'm celebrating the upload of this Morning Manor number 100. Morning Manor was birthed out of a need just to encourage God's people. Originally, it should have just been me reading a scripture and sending a voice note to my church group. But with the encouragement from my wife and inspiration from the Lord, it birthed into what it is now. Each morning manner is under six minutes of listening time. However, each morning manner takes three to four hours to prepare. A lot of hard work and passion has been poured into each morning manner with the desire thus to encourage even one person. So I'd like to say a big thank you to each person on Facebook who continues to like these videos, share these videos, those who leave comments, which are very encouraging. I'd like to say a big thank you to those who go on my YouTube page and those who have subscribed. Because of your subscriptions, the YouTube channel is growing. And for those who have not yet subscribed, it takes just a few seconds just to click that button. From my heart, I appreciate each of you. And ask you that you continue to pray for me, that God continues to give strength emotionally, physically, mentally, and continues to give inspiration. I'm truly looking forward to blessing you with another 100 morning manners. God bless you today. Pastor Steve Mary, signing out.
please remember to like and subscribe to my page on YouTube. Your support is much appreciated. Hey,